And then do, do you, I mean, obviously it's part of your teaching and everything else, but do you ever take it out just for fun with your own kids? I think yes. I've seen a video of you with somewhere with a, someone sticking their head out a window. Yeah, I've got, I've done it a couple of times. We did it, actually, we're deciding not to do it in our garden, but we're very lucky where we are. So we live in Hartford, uh, where you're based as well. And there's, uh, we're really lucky We've got some really big fields, the meads out the back, uh, and in the summer they dry out. So you've got a vast empty space, and uh, yeah, we did. We go over there and launch it quite a lot. We used to in the summer, not in the winter because it gets a bit boggy over there. But uh, in the summer when it's all dried out, yeah, we we go over there all the time. And again, it's really simple, carry it over. So yeah, um, I think I've sent, or I can send you the video. It was a couple of years ago during COVID, but there's we videoed it with my son and daughter watching on. So funny you mentioned about Hartford, because obviously we're in Hartford, you're in mm. Hartford. And I was listening to the, and I knew I'd forget her name, but you'll know her. I was listening to Desert Island Discs with a lady who's head of um, physics at NASA, who lived from Hartford, Hitchin. She, oh, she, I met her the other week. She came to Imperial, Nikki Fox. Yeah. So she's kind of my weirdly PhD sister. So we both had the same supervisor, Mike Lockwood, and she, I think, because I thought they were the same age without having moved to either of them. Um, but I think she was Mike's first student. So, our, like, and I was one of his last. So, we're, but it was very peculiar. Yeah, she was a student at Imperial College and she came and gave a talk a few, just before Christmas, actually, maybe November. And uh, yeah, she's very, she was from Hitchin. Yeah. And she's incredibly inspirational. And um, yeah, she's great. She already co opted me into doing about five things after meeting her for about 30 seconds. She was palming, I shouldn't say palming. <laughs> so, oh, Simon, you can do that. Simon, do that. And I was like, God, I've only just met you. But I can see how she's ended up as NASA's, I think, chief scientist, but I think they call it, but it is head of NASA because she's very good at delegating. And um, but yeah, it's very peculiar that we're. Um, we, we're related so to speak in terms of phds um yeah so but yeah she's she yeah she was just from hitching which is unbelievable and yeah. hitching have had another great scientist joe haig who's my postdoctoral supervisor so that means after you your your first one on your career she was from hitching as well so hitching seems to be a hotbed of a uh, hotbed of female uh atmospheric and space scientists <laughs> 